So here's a follow-up to my previous video where I put forward my theory that Shell might be one of the global companies G was negotiating with. And remember this guy? The head of sustainability and risk at Shell Aviation? He gave Team Cesar's post about Jeevo's partnership with Chevron the thumbs up. So what, you say? Well, I googled his name and this picture came up. The picture shows Brian signing some kind of deal. Well, turns out the picture is from a tweet by SAF producer Sky Energy in 2018. It depicts their CFO signing the collaboration contract together with Brian Stonehouse. And you may remember from my previous video that Sky Energy is one of several SAF producing companies that Shell is collaborating with. So Brian isn't just any middle manager, he's the guy that actually closes the SAF collaboration deals for Shell. But what about Tim Cesarek? So Tim, you know, I get, I get pegged all the time. People are saying, why the heck does it take so dang long to get new customers in the pipeline? So can you just explain to people what actually is going on here and what it actually means to have a take or pay contract? It, it, it actually is a question that resonates between you and I sometimes, right? I mean, you ask me yeah, every, much every day, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every day, every day. So, um, you know, these are big commitments, right? We're asking customers to come forward with you know, hundreds of millions of dollars over a long period of time. Um, we don't build things on the hope that a customer will come. Uh, we, we look to offtake agreements or supply agreements to give us a great sense of what um, the volumes will be um, in terms of what the annual purchase will be from a customer, what the price is. We're actually asking them to enter into an obligation that is for the delivery of fuel in, in, in years from now, 2024, right? So they got to wrap their head around the fact that we're going to deliver something in the future and, and they're obligated to take it. So Tim is obviously the guy responsible for getting all the contracts signed for Jivo. So every shareholder in Jivo should be thrilled that these two guys are already connected. Now let's go back to Brian's LinkedIn profile. Among his interests, he practically follows all the companies that Shell is working together with, like Sky Energy and Neste. But it feels good to know that he also follows Gio. And Tim Cesarek? Even though Gio and Shell are not in any kind of official partnership, well, he follows them. If you take a look at the groups that Tim is a part of, you'll find that Tim Cesarek is a member of Rotterdam Bioport community. The members of this community provide information about new developments to help grow the network. And since Royal Dutch Shell is a Dutch company and Rotterdam is located in the Netherlands, <laughs> let's dive deeper into this. Rotterdam is the largest port in Europe. 90,000 people are employed here. And it is also Europe's gateway to the world. Rotterdam is the gateway to Europe. Interesting. So let's find out how all of this is connected to Shell. <clears throat> In 2019, Shell joined in as an equal equity partner in a waste chemical project, the first of its kind in Europe and located in Rotterdam. And in September of 2021, Shell announced they will build one of Europe's largest biofuels facilities, also located here in Rotterdam, to produce SAF and biodiesel. So the connection between Shell and the bioport in Rotterdam is a no-brainer. But why on earth is Tim Cesarek a member of this community? And if it's not in any way connected to Shell, there might just be another possible explanation, maybe even more exciting. I mean, simply the way I think about it is, as I see the pipeline and has it's evolved, say in the last nine months in particular, um, you know, I see a line of sight to six more net zero plants. We have good sites that are in our pipeline. Um, we have a, a very good sense of where we would site next net zero locations, not only here in the US, but globally, right? Because the products we're making are in global demand. They're in demand in Europe. Rotterdam is the gateway to Europe. They're in demand in South America. They're in demand in Asia. And so um, I'm quite pleased with the progress that we've seen in the last months. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I promise to return soon with more due diligence on Jivo. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Until next time, bye bye.